you're most welcome to the finals. In this episode, we will find out who has built the strongest slab man. And that will be a great honor to win. And your slab man will probably be fitted in in one of the Army of Gymnasium's fleets and be used into the battlefield. So in any case, let the battles begin and let the best slab man win. Aug Invictus! We're here with the finals of the slab man challenge. Today we will uh, crown the victors of this challenge. Is it just me or does this boy's camo change every single time we spawn it? Anyways, so we are going to get into the finals and this time we will firstly uh, pitch Pizza Summoner's uh, nerf gun ship <laughs> towards Maclick's uh, paint stripper, the damage slab man here, because we are in the loser brackets round four and we will need to find out which ship will meet, powered by greeds. Uh, Hadrofoil that has won every single battle so far. You already know that Setup won the design challenge and that is with a beautiful Stritzjacht design that you probably have seen. It's a beautiful work of art. And it is namely so that another person in our Discord, Kevin, has taken this design, put it onto a blueprint, and ma basically made like wire exports, wireframe exports, to create this absolutely stunning blueprint designs. And Kevin didn't want anything for this, so I lowered the price as much as possible, which means that uh, your discount, if you have that, might not work. But instead, I have a all-store 10% discount during a limited time. So you can use that if you want to get that. And please send your blessings to Kevin in comments or in the ether. I know he'd appreciate that. And if you didn't know that, you can join the Army of Gymnasium if you want to by signing up for Matru's third class in our Discord. And you're officially in the Army of Gymnasium. If you want to be a commissioned officer in the Army of Gymnasium, well, you can support the channel monetarily. Let's get going and don't forget to like the video. By the way, we're gonna have new challenges coming on, so please make sure you are in the Discord so you will get notified for sure, and also that uh, you subscribe to the channel so you will see the results. Anyways, let's get this battle going. Let's see who will meet Powered by Greed, Lieutenant Powered by Greed on the battlefield. So we're coming here. We are following this little uh, very funny <laughs> nuke thing. <laughs> That's going down, and oh my god, are we gonna hit? Ooh, man! It actually hit some of the railgun system. This means that one of the sandblasters have been severely weakened. Alright, so my clicks damaged slab man is going for the sandblaster approach. And man, you can see it's already dug deep into Wow, it almost disabled this turret by killing its... Uh... Wow, it almost killed that turret from Pizza Summer by just, uh, just eating away at that important bit. Basically the uh, weapon controller. Alright, so both of these are actually sandblasting. And we got some torpedoes coming in here. I haven't seen very many using torpedoes. And this kind of surprises me because... Yeah, b b because McClick actually spent some good resources on having anti-torpedo defenses. So it does surprise me that they are still getting through here. Oh man. Oh man, I didn't even notice. It's going pretty good for Pizza Summoner's <laughs> nerf gun ship. Man, this one is a strong thing. And it has, yeah, it has completely disabled McClick's damage slab man's guns. Look at that. The wall is here. 
nothing is online it's trying to target but man it's received some major damage here we're, we're even starting to eat through here i think this battle is very much over uh, because my click does not have any other ways to deal damage but of course it, there is a slight chance that uh, the block that is missing whatever block that is i'm not really sure why the system is working at all because i think it should perhaps be working a little bit here i don't, I don't see why it's definitely not working actually there is a small chance it will start working so we'll, we'll see if uh, anything happens but you can see those crime shells are coming in there they are really exploding this this thing from within man the slabman pizza has some pretty powerful crimes on there and once again we can see the doom crimes is a good way to deal big amounts of damages now this is not doom crimes these are more like stacked big crimes but whatever they they still do some damage my click is collecting penalty points and is over uh, under the threshold. Yes, he is too low. He has officially lost and is out of this game. Well, then it comes to the final battle. Powered by Greed versus Pizza Sumner. And this is, is this a rematch? It is a rematch. And if Pizza wins this next match, it means that we will have another match because Powered by Greed hasn't lost a single battle yet. Alright, Lieutenant Powered by Greed, we shall see. Will your ship actually win this entire thing? Alright, here we are. We have Slabman's Pizza Summoner right here. And the nuke missed last time. We will follow the nuke and see if it if it hits its marks at this time. Then it might change the tides of the battle and we'll need to do the other, other battle. If Powered by Greed's HC Minuteman wins this battle, it means that Powered by Greed's, <coughs> Lieutenant Powered by Greed's HC Minuteman is officially the strongest ship that was submitted to this challenge. Well, here we have the repair personnel and we got the bridge looking really nice. Now, Pizza Summers, uh, um well slabman pizza was actually one of the ships that was very close to actually winning the design it looks absolutely amazing and so does powered by greech hc minuteman but of course setups a design was insanely cool looking at a completely other level so that that thing was really beautiful too so that obviously won won the challenge but man these two look pretty cool as well i didn't check it that like we have some cool armor in here we actually have some heavy armor the rest is alloy to keep down the weight a little bit well looks absolutely amazing let's get this battle going we're gonna lock on to the miss isel miss isel let's go ladies and gentlemen well the Slabman Pizza Summoner's missile. That tactical nuke actually sh actually hit Powered by Greed's Minuteman. It's diving. Oh, it's targeted by laser. And more. Oh, that's. It's not a bad hit. It disabled some of the engine a little bit, but man, the armor is so thick on this thing. It really ate it up. All right, rematch indeed. The missile, the glove has been thrown. Let's follow these shells here. They're coming into the Slabman Pizza side. The lambs are trying to take it out. They got deflected. This shot got through. The turret is damaged. We are sandblasting and sandblasting. Are we sandblasting anything important here? Looks like the shields are doing a good job of keeping its armor up. We're stripping blocks here, but no major damage. I wonder if uh, Slabman Pizza's crams will come in to deal some damage. Powered by Greed's crams definitely deal some damage. Bam! Really do some big explosions there. And 
Look at that. That's actually a hit. Now Parvig Reed spent some big money on that lamb system. It's not to joke with. That's some strong lambs, man. Slabman Pizza is behind a little bit in terms of material, but it's still pretty even here. Now we go to the next volley. This might change with this volley. They are aiming for the front of the ship. Ooh, but they still dealt some serious damage here. No? We're mostly fine. We're mostly fine over here. Did I hear blank shots? We're firing blanks over here. Some of the shots are blanks. Are we gonna hit now? Or oh, the lamb system zaps them out. Powered by Greed's lambs are not a joke. They are some serious lambs, sniping out crab shells, APS shells, whatever is incoming. We could see that when uh, the Powered by Greed's Minutemen did defeat the Kevin Price ship that has some really strong APS, she APS shells there. It did some serious damage. Well, it will be very interesting to see how this battle develops. I do think our lieutenant will most likely win this because he won the previous battles and it seems that it's developing in a similar way, especially with lambs shooting down those uh, crams when they're coming close. Man, now we are even having a little bit trouble to turn from Slabman's pizza side. You can see it's stuck in there a little bit. Man, look at that. That's some serious damage. This is after all a left sider. You can see the offset uh, setting of these turrets and the thicker armor on the left side. So it really doesn't want to change the right side. But when, when opposing something crazy like powered by Greech, HC Minutemen, it can probably be a good idea to actually be able to use your both sides because in this case, well, the Minuteman is able, she's able to get on the bad side of the pizza summoners. Well, this pizza is soon to be cooked. Look at this. Look, fireworks. Pium pium. <laughs> Oh my god, Power by Greed's HC Minuteman is really acing this battle. Good job, great design, that's quite amazing. Now Slabman, Slabman Pizza's design is a very sturdy, but it seems that some of the cram cannons has a little bit of connection issue. Some of them seem to have been disconnected from their pills, because we are firing a lot of blanks over here. As you can see, we're, we're shooting blanks. Sad, 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 sad firing pieces. Not connected to the pellets in a good way at all. Yes. Well, we'll of course need to see to make sure this battle can be definitely decided to be a win or a loss. But man, I almost already want to congratulate Lieutenant Army of Jimadism, Lieutenant Powered by Greed for making such a strong design. Very beautiful looking too. Looks like an absolutely cool spaceship boat thing. That's a real cool hydrofoil and man, the damage it delivers is strong. Now, of course, I do want to say that Slabman Pizza, our Pizza Summer's build, it's absolutely stunning. It's the coolest Nerf gun I've seen in from the depth and as you can see these cram cannons has officially became nerf guns too because it seems like all of these barrels are shooting blanks by now sad sad but in any case it's the coolest looking nerf gun i ever seen man it's a really cool design real love real love the bridge here too Ooh, i do think it turns red lights on when it's damaged or something like that that's pretty cool or when it's entered battle not sure but it's definitely very stunning. We got another swarm incoming here. We can see that Power by Greed's HC Minuteman is at 94.9%, while uh, the Slabman Pizza is at 61. And we are having a killed AI. Well, well, Pizza Summoner, very good job in terms of um, combat capabilities 
you definitely came in second here. You're in the losers bracket last year and you're in the semi-finals as well. This is a really strong design, but gives you second place. However, that's nothing compared to the Slab Man rebuild to the HC Minuteman. Absolutely stunning, awesome looking design. And this means that when we are playing the Nether campaign, you're gonna see more of AOG Minuteman because this ship will be officially accepted into the second chapter Frontier Fleet, which we will be using of conquering the Nether. Here we have the final results with the third place going to Maklik for his beautiful sand blasting. Second place goes to Pizza Summer. Beautiful design. And first play goes to Lieutenant Powered by Greed and set up for the design part. Full combat performance. Huge congratulations to Lieutenant Powered by Greed. Amazing design. So we will now promote and go through the ceremonies. We're listening to Walls of the Builders. We will enlist McClick and give him the Good Combat Performance Award. Bronze. Congratulations. Pizza Summoner is also enlisted and, of course, awarded the Distinguished Combat Performance Award Silver. Congratulations. Then we'll go to our Lieutenant, powered by Greed, and we will award him the Epic Combat Performance Award Gold. Congratulations indeed. And the design is not only good, it's also beautiful and very usable. So we'll also award him the AOG badge of exquisite design. Congratulations indeed. Amazing, amazing, fantastic designs we got there. Now we shall award setup for the fantastic performance of the beautiful Stritzjak design. That's even a mouse mat nowadays, as well as the badge of exquisite design together with a promotion to Matrus second class. Congratulations, congratulations. We're moving on and we will promote Kevin for the beautiful design of the, uh, the, the mouse mats, the exports of the uh, Stritzjagd. So we will award them the AOG Star of Creativity. Congratulations. Vestrets will also be awarded the Star of Creativity for the fantastic music that our martial musician has produced, like the little uh, song you just heard. <laughs> the Waltz of the Builders. Now we will indeed rename and move these ships into the second chapter Frontier Fleet, which we will be used to conquer the Nether. I got a little naming convention scheme text and that is available as a pinned comment in the Army of Jumidism uh, Discord, the uh, channel. And you can just, uh, again, self-assign yourself to a Matrus third class. So we put them, we rename them after our conventions and we will most reverently cut. Wait for it. Yes, cut and go into our folder and paste. Wow, amazing, amazing. Congratulations indeed. And thank you all for submitting your ships and thank you all for all the cool things that have come out of this. So especially thanks to you who have been watching this. And of course you should definitely get into our Discord and join so you can get be a part of the new challenge. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe for future ones. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Jim Desman. We are signing out. AOG Invictus.